Is the day I am at my orthodontist and I am actually getting Invisalign so the next time you see me I will probably have my clear liners in I'm so excited it took a long time for me to get these in and I know I'm probably gonna have questions about why I chose to go the Invisalign route because I'm gonna talk all about this probably in a separate video actually um, because I know a lot of people are interested in doing Invisalign or clear liners of any kind but there are a lot of reasons why I chose Invisalign over like Smile Direct or Candid or Bite, like those other third-party mail-in aligner programs. Alyssa actually works for Smile Direct, so I definitely had connections there. And being a YouTuber, I probably could have secured a partnership, but I ultimately chose to go with the traditional route because I think my teeth are already pretty straight. And the adjustments that are needed are going to require attachments and things like that, which I will not be able to achieve by doing one of those mail-in services. Okay, I'm in the orthodontist right now, and I am taking a look at the 3D scans. Basically, they can map out what my teeth are going to look like, and it's completely planned out for 10 weeks. So I'm going to have my aligners, which I'm going to be wearing for two weeks at a time, until 10 weeks. So they can show me what my teeth are going to look like in 10 weeks on this digital thing I want to show you guys this is wait this is now yeah so this is what my teeth look like right now mm -hmm. okay I know they probably don't look that bad to you guys but wait until you see what the bottom crowding looks like yeah let me show you can I go to the bottom yeah. so this is how crowded the bottom are so you can see they're like not lined up right there and yeah look at all that crowding okay that's from not wearing a retainer you can see what they will look like perfect Mm. That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> so okay. that's where you're gonna start. This will wake everything off and be So we cool. Mm -hmm. Wait, is there a way to do a video of just the bottom? Like Ooh, that's that? perfect. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say that is actually perfect right there. Yeah. Okay. That's where you're gonna be. Or you are. Wow. Here's what the aligners look like. The deed is done. I have the aligners in right now. If you'll very weird, but they don't feel painful at all. Um, they definitely like snapped in, so there's gonna be some movement, which I can tell. All the girls in the office are so sweet, so if any of you are watching this, hi, thank you guys. The, all, everyone in the office is so sweet, including the orthodontist, they're all really nice. I, I'm just really glad that I, I'm going somewhere where I can actually see real people that are gonna help me not have a lisp, I just heard that. Um, but I got this little pouch from Invisalign, which I thought was really cute. So I've got my aligners in here, and I was wrong, it's not for the next 10 weeks, it's for the next 8 weeks, so I have 4 sets of aligners to get through basically the rest of this year, and then I come back in the beginning of January. But they gave me this little kit that has like stuff to clean my aligners, so I thought that was cool. I'm so excited! I also decided to stay back afterwards and talk with the orthodontist just because I wanted to reassure that like I made the right decision by going with Invisalign and you know, he definitely made me feel better about it because he's going to be very hands-on about the details that I want about my smile to be corrected. And at the end of it, if I'm not happy with anything, if there's just anything I want to change about my smile, we can go in and do that and order more aligners and everything like that. So I think it's definitely a more hands-on approach doing it this way. And I'm really glad that I made the decision to do that. It's 4.30 almost and I'm with Chad and my teeth hurt <laughs> even though i said when i first got them and i was like oh they don't even hurt like this is easy yeah it took about 30 minutes and then like the pain started setting in but she told me to resist the urge to take them out so that's what i'm doing oh i want to take them out so bad though because they're hurting but we're grocery shopping right now we just got out of walmart to get some of the essentials more tissues because i keep blowing my nose and all that stuff and we're about to stop through starbucks really quick so i can grab a hot tea to soothe my throat. It's honestly sore, not because I'm coughing as much anymore, which is really good, but because of the drainage from like my sinuses. So we're gonna grab a tea really quick for me from Starbucks and then we're gonna go into Sprouts and finish up our grocery shopping. Any thoughts, Chad? Uh, no, I have zero thoughts. Chad's so making me soup tonight. I'm so excited. I thought you were making it. No, you're making me soup. You said you would.
just finished grocery shopping and I'm like so behind on my water intake. I haven't used this water bottle in a while, but I told Chad that today was the day because I am taking Mucinex, so I should already be drinking more water than normal and I already don't drink enough water as it is. So I thought if I filled this up, try to get through it, you know, <clears throat> that'd be good. But as you can see, I'm only about halfway there and it's already five. Okay, I'm about to start taking off my dip. This is just dip that I did earlier this week when I took off my tips and I wanna put tips back on. I don't think I'm gonna do it tonight though, but I am just gonna remove it so that I can do them in the morning. So that is what I'm about to do right now. Um, I have these little foil things and then a little bit of acetone in here. I'm just gonna dip these, just cut them in half, the little cotton rounds and soak my nails and then use my little drill to get it off. Here is the soup that Chad made for us. We've made this a million times and I always tell you guys about it. It's the Italian noodle soup. It's actually a HelloFresh meal that we always keep the recipe for and we just remake it on our own. It's from like years ago. Or over a year ago. I don't know if it's been... It's been a couple of years. A couple of years? Oh wow. Yeah, this is like one of our favorite soup recipes. It's so good. Good morning guys. It is 5.50. I am, Chad just left for CrossFit. And I'm only up because I couldn't stop coughing. I wasn't supposed to get up until like 6.30. Um, my camera is like not focusing. I just took my Invisalign out and ooh, these were very sore last night. I woke up a couple of times like, oh, but it's definitely not like the worst thing in the world, but it's gonna take some getting used to, but I took them out. I'm having a little break because I just ate my oatmeal. And I had like the Kodiak Cakes oatmeal. We got that yesterday when we were grocery shopping and it is so good. I, we love like the Kodiak Cake pancake mix, but the oatmeal is actually like super good too. Lay you down. It's too early for you to be awake. You're just a baby. You're just a baby. I feel maybe slightly better this morning and I filled up my water. I'm gonna try and drink this whole thing again today. 6.38 and I am doing my nails. I just went ahead and put tips on. Can't believe I'm doing them this early, but I'm supposed to meet Katie for coffee at 8.30, so I just wanted to try to do them before I go. So I'm just doing a clear dip and then I think I'm gonna do like a milky white color like I've done before. Kinda of like the OPI Funny Bunny, but I found a dupe for it on Amazon. But I haven't tried it yet, so I don't want to say anything yet. We'll see how it turns out, but this is the brand. I just did my makeup and I took a much needed break from the aligners and it was a longer break than I should have, but I needed a break. It wasn't like super long, it was just like I ate breakfast and then I didn't put them back in for like an hour. I'm still congested, as you can hear. I am about to curl my hair really quick. I'm just gonna put some loose waves in it um, and then I'm going to meet Katie for coffee. It's almost nine and I am at Starbucks now, sitting outside because it's cold. I'm with Katie, we got our holiday drinks and I decided to get something iced, which we were just talking about how like, it's funny because I, both of us never really get hot drinks that much. I always get them in the morning. I was gonna get the sugar cookie because somebody commented on my picture on Instagram and gave me a really good recommendation for like a sugar cookie drink. It was actually someone who said they're a barista at Starbucks. So I was gonna try it, but they're out of sugar cookie and I still haven't tried sugar cookie this year. So I got my OG, which is my grande iced coffee with three pumps of chestnut praline light cream and um, extra ice and then like the praline topping. I usually ask for extra of the praline topping, but I didn't, I kinda wish I did. Oh, I feel like the little praline crystals are gonna get stuck in my Invisalign. Are you even allowed to drink iced coffee with Invisalign? They said I can. Okay, <laughs> I was like, is that a thing? You're technically not supposed to do anything but water, but then they told me yesterday, so that's like Invisalign rules, but then they told me yesterday that like, if you wanna drink coffee, they would rather you 
keep your aligners in as long as possible. Yeah. They said it's more of a cosmetic thing. 10.15 now and I just got to the laser lounge spa. I'm about to go in and get my tattoo zapped. I'll give you guys a whole update. I actually don't know quite what we're doing yet. We might be doing a chemical peel so I might not be getting it zapped. I'm not sure. She wanted to wait until this most recent um, like IPL thingy I did. Wait, was that the IPL? I don't know, I'm getting confused. We've like tried so many different things, but it is getting lighter and lighter. It's just such a process, but I know a lot of you guys have been following up with it, so I do wanna give you guys an update. what my tattoo looks like now. April is getting the machine ready. She's about to inject me with some lidocaine. This is about to hurt. <laughs> um, like what else could hurt? I already have these, this Invisalign in. That's killing my mouth. <laughs> Maybe it'll take away from the pain of this. But we're gonna do the regular. It's not good. Um, oh yeah, it hurts, but, <laughs> but you're fine. <laughs> do your thing, I'd rather be really numb. Um, the regular laser treatment tattoo tattoo treatment today. back home and I stopped at Sally's and I picked up just a couple of things for my nails. So I've been primarily using the dip powder now that I realize it's literally just as strong as acrylic for me. Um, I mean, probably not like literally, but for my purposes, like I don't break these. So I don't have any reason to be putting acrylic on. And by the way, I haven't got my nails done at the nail salon in over a month. I've been doing them myself and I'm so proud of it. It's just been like so cool to learn how to do my own nails. And even though I'm not perfect at it, every time I get a little bit better. So I love that. But while I was at Sally's, I picked up more of these little foils because it helps remove the dip powder so much faster when you wrap the cotton in foil versus just soaking it. And then I also found that they had these for the same price as the ones on Amazon and they are like pre-sectioned out by size. So I just got some more tips. Um, and then I found this color that is really cute. I did have this color that I tried this morning and it's supposed to be like similar to Funny Bunny, but it's like super, super thick. And I do not like gel polishes that are like really thick because it's hard to get a thin layer on there and get it even. So I found this one by Gelish. It's um, a little bit of like a tan color. It's definitely not like Funny Bunny or anything, but it's still like an, a light neutral color. Um, what is it called? The sticker on the bottom does not say. Oh, there it is, tan my hide. So I'm gonna finish filing my nails down, just kinda like make them perfect. And then I'm gonna do a couple layers of this and just cure it under my lamp and then my nails will be done. Finished doing my nails and you guys, I think these might be my favorite nails that I've done by myself since I started doing my own nails. They're so, so pretty. It's just like a really pretty like neutral color. And I'm just like so impressed that I did these myself. Like you can see a little bit, you know, where it's like not perfectly almond shaped. And that's just because it's hard and I'm still learning. But like from just someone like looking at my nails, I feel like you wouldn't be able to tell that I did them myself. And I'm just so proud of it because I feel like I'm getting really good at it. But anyway, I am about to hop on a call with The Real Real with a local consigner because I am going to be selling some of my designer bags. This is after a lot of thought went into it and I feel like with me about to be paying student loans, having this massive monthly payment now for Invisalign and just trying to you know, put more money into my savings every month, I need to not have so many designer bags that I'm not even using. So obviously I'm gonna keep my like designer bags that I wear and use, but the ones that I'm not using anymore, I'm gonna sell. Um, one of them is my Gucci bag, and then I also have this Chloe bag. I have a couple Louis Vuittons I might get rid of, and I might even get rid of my Chanel bag. 
that I'm still on the fence about but I bought it from Fashion File so and this was literally just a few months ago it's like honestly so embarrassing to say because you guys are probably like why would you even spend that much money on a bag and I know I I think at the time I was just like oh my god like this bag is so popular it's pretty it was like a really impulse decision but <clears throat> the bag is so expensive I don't even want to say how much it is but you can look it up you know which bag I have like literally ridiculous for me to be carrying around a bag that is that expensive when I'm over here like trying to pay off student loans like trying to save up for another house you know it's like paying for Invisalign like walking around with a bag of that magnitude is just like kind of silly to me I feel like I was like always afraid to carry it too because I didn't want to get it messed up because of how expensive it is and so I was like talking to Katie about it this morning actually and she kind of like made me feel better about it. I just think it was a really stupid impulse decision and even though I love the bag, there will always be Chanel bags out there. So if I sell that bag and in a few years I'm in a better position and I really want a Chanel bag then maybe I will get it in the future but like I just can't justify having a bag that expensive. So I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of my bags. I also have a Gucci belt bag but anything that I got from Fashion File, I'm most likely gonna sell back to Fashion File because they give me a discount. But the real real I signed up for, and there's like a local consigner around here that works for them, and we're gonna do like a FaceTime call, I guess, and she's gonna explain to me how it works, and um, I'm gonna show her like the bags that I'm interested in consigning, and we're gonna be getting rid of some bags that I don't need anymore. I need to keep this covered because last time, I didn't have it covered and I went to go do a photo shoot and I ripped it open. Anyway, <clears throat> my voice sounds super hoarse, working on the water, halfway there, definitely. Well, I'm not that behind schedule actually. My package in from Sephora and I'll show you guys what I got from the Sephora sale. First of all, I got my birthday reward, which I decided to get the Laneige one. Got a restock of my liquid eyeliner from Fenty Beauty. And then I got the volumizing mascara from Rare Beauty. This is my favorite mascara that I've discovered so far. I really like the Grande Cosmetics one, but then I tried this one, like the miniature version, and I was obsessed, so I bought the full version. I feel like it just separates my eyelashes really well and actually like curls them. And then I got the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Plumper because everybody has raved about this for a long time. It's been out. And I finally just decided I want to try it and see if I can make my lips super plump. And then I also got the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is just a concealer that I guessed my shade on. I realized that I had more in my car and then I made the decision to put some of it back because it was like unnecessary. I thought this was going to be more of an exciting haul, but now I remember that I like put the unnecessary stuff back. <laughs> um, AK took that out of my cart because it was obviously done online, but... Yes, I got the stuff I needed basically. Much later now and I just had a freaking nosebleed out of nowhere. I was eating leftover soup for dinner and <clears throat> like I had just finished eating and so I was just like sitting here scrolling on my phone. I had like my phone flat on the table and this like giant drop of blood just like hits my phone. And I was so confused. I've never had like nosebleeds. I mean, maybe like once as a kid or something, but I'm not someone who just gets nosebleeds. I know for some people that's normal. So I was like, where did that come from? And then all of a sudden it just started like pouring out. I actually got like on our placemat. And I mean, this is like kind of gross, but like I got all, it all over these napkins and oh, it like scared me. I don't <coughs> know why that happened, but I just had a freaking nosebleed. Um, taking a little break from my Invisalign though while I was eating and uh, it feels so good to take a break, but I know it's gonna hurt so bad when I put them back in. Oh. Uh...